Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Bob. Um, I'm in the process of designing a entertainment center for my basement, and I'm not having a whole lot of experience with cabinetry, I figured I would post this out there and get some feedback from those of you who have, you know, more experience than me. Um, what I'm looking to do is build the carcass out of three-quarter inch oak plywood, uh, doing all the typical dadoing in and on the edges and stuff. Uh, on the back side. What I'm looking to do is put in a, a, uh, a support board, so to speak, across the top and the bottom, you know, screwing it into the sides, which will be covered eventually, and uh, into the center supports to keep the unit from racking back and forth uh, and keeping it square. Uh, on the front, obviously, the, you know, the face frame with the rail and styles to cover up the, the edges of the plywood. On the sides, what I want to do is I want to give it the appearance that uh, you know that this that this board is actually you know embedded in in a in a dado in, in the styles and rails. So I'm going to put in a three quarter or a quarter inch face frame, a fake face face frame, so to speak, uh, to give it the appearance that you know that this board is is inside like it's a, it looks like a quarter inch thick board inside of a dado that'll be a you know quarter inch thick. Uh, piece of face frame on the side. Um, as I spin this around, you you may or may not have noticed a hole in the top, uh, and and wondered what that was. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put a TV bracket in this. And what I didn't want to do is I didn't want uh, the unit to stay away from the wall. I wanted to be able to to put this flush up against the wall. So I had to push this in a little bit. Uh, there's knobs that stick out that weren't weren't uh, drawn up in this model uh, but there's knobs that stick out to, to allow you to adjust the height of this so I, I wanted to get that away from the wall so uh, you know I figured I'd just put a hole in the top and, and slide it down through but one of the things I didn't want to do is is this is where all my components are going to be and there'll be shelves across here I didn't want to see this and I didn't want to see these boards so what I want to do is put in a, a fake wall so to speak uh, inside here. This will still give me about 19 to 20 inches in terms of depth which is plenty for the components and then there will be holes to allow me to feed wires in and up this tube to the TV which would be there. Um, so that will kind of hide that that backer board or whatever you want to call it there, the, the support boards. Um, the doors will be uh, look like that that was that's the look that I wanted on the side and that's the look that's on our bar downstairs uh, so I wanted to kind of mimic that and uh, then there'll be shelves in there like that and there'll be shelves inside the the door area you know adjustable to two you know I'm not sure if there'll just be one shelf or two or three or whatever but there'll be shelves behind the door and once the door is shut you're not going to see that that panel or that that support board going across or the top, so I'm not. I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, when you open the doors for you know the, the little bit of time that it's open, you know if you see that, you know, is for for my purpose in the basement, I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, so that's pretty much what the unit's going to look like. Uh, on the back side, what I want to do is is put in uh, back panel quarter inch back panel that will look like that. I'll have that tacked in or screwed in maybe, but probably tacked in. And then the center part I'm going to I'm going to leave separate. I'm going to use that with Velcro. So I can just take the piece and Velcro it, you know, stick it on there. There'll be a finger hole, probably wouldn't be that big. Uh, that'll allow me to get it back off to get at the wires to run it up and down uh, you know, the, the, the TV stand. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at and, and the approach I'm taking. Uh, taking this one step a little further with regards to SketchUp and some of its abilities, uh, I talked in one of my other videos about the ability to design a room. Uh, so if I look at this in the, t the TV area in my basement, uh, this is actually what my basement, where it's going to go. Uh, I have a little, a little nook uh, that's about 15 feet wide. Uh, I got my drop ceiling in. Uh, if I look at the bar area, this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I'm not going with a beadboard look like this is. It's more of the the look like with these with the doors where you know there's square panels going over here. 
there's full cabinets across the back um, or I can go at a full full basement view and look at it this way uh, so you know SketchUp is, is not only good for woodworking it's good for laying out a room uh, if I zoom way back there's actually a wall going across here and then my workshop is, is on this side of the wall uh, but uh, that's pretty much what I've come up with and uh, and that's what the, the entertainment center would, would look like and, uh, and how I would go about constructing and building it. So, you know, I'm, I'm wide open to comments, criticism, critiques. Uh, would it work? Wouldn't it work? And what you think about it. So uh, look forward to your feedback, and we'll talk to you later.